Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is seven dimensions and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 11 verses 2 and 3. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of the knowledge and fear of the Lord, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what his, uh, he sees with his eyes or decide by what he hears with his ears. We round up our series on being filled with the Holy Spirit tomorrow by the grace of God. But today I just thought that this scripture from Isaiah prophesying about Jesus long before Jesus came on the earth is an instructive one to meditate on. The scripture talks about seven dimensions of the Holy Spirit that rested upon Jesus. I always return to Jesus because he is our example. In ministry, he is our example. In fulfillment of purpose and destiny, he is our example. And the Bible shows us seven dimensions of the Spirit of God, of, of yeah, the Spirit of God that rested upon him and consequently produced the results we see in Jesus' life. The Spirit of wisdom, knowing what to do per time. He was never stranded. A Spirit of understanding, he could see into the very depth of the counsel of God at every time. A Spirit of counsel, knowing God's will for his own individual life and receiving guidance per time. A Spirit of might, which gave power, strength, stamina and vitality that enabled Jesus to do things supernatural like teach for hours and days on end the spirit of the knowledge of God and the spirit of the fear of the Lord these dimensions of the spirit were in synergy to create the results Jesus had what does this have to do with being filled with the spirit easy when we are filled with the spirit of God we are filled with all these dimensions of God and can draw from them as the situation demands imagine what your life and mind will look like when we walk in the realm where we are filled with the sevenfold spirit of God. Dear sister, dear brother, more than ever before, let us now contend to always be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let us put away the sin that so easily besets us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. For the spirit of God will not and cannot cohabit with iniquity. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.